19 South Korean period horror streaming television series, created and written by Kim Hee and Hee and based on the Wetun series The Kingdom of the Gods, colon, by writer Kim Hee and Hee and artist Yang Kyung Il. As Netflix's first original Korean series B it premiered on January 25, 2019. It stars Ju Ji Hoon, Ryu Seung Ryong, Bae Du Na, Kim Sang Ho, Kim Sung Kyu and Kim Hai Joon. The entire first season, and the first episode of the second were directed by Kim Song Hun, with Park In Jae directing the remainder of that season. Set in the 16th century and three years after the end of the Imjin War, Kingdom takes place in a fictional, medieval-inspired Joseon, modern-day Korea, and blends political thriller and elements from zombie horror. The story follows Lee Chang, the crown prince of Joseon, who attempts to investigate the mysterious illness recently afflicting the king, only to find himself caught in the middle of a deadly epidemic ravaging the kingdom of Joseon. While trying to save the kingdom from the plague, he must also stop his political opponents from seizing the throne. The series was positively reviewed, and renewed for a second season which was released on March 13, 2020. A special feature-length episode of the series, titled Ashen of the North, was released on July 23, 2021, presenting a focus on the supporting character played by Jun Ji Hyun. The episode acts as a side sidequel to the second season of Kingdom and explores the backstory of Ashin, the mysterious character Li Chang's group encountered on their journey north to discover the origins of the infected. Kingdom is set during Korea's Joseon period, three years after the famous Battle of Unpo wetland near the city of Sangju during the Japanese invasions of Korea, where 500 Korean soldiers, led by Governor A.H.N. Hyeon, defeated an army of 30,000 Japanese invaders. Unbeknownst to the common people, this victory was achieved by using an herb known as the Resurrection Plant, which transformed the diseased villagers of Sumang into ferocious zombies. After the battle ended, the zombies were executed and buried in secret. Season 1 After the king dies of smallpox, Chief State Counselor Lord Cho Hakju decides to hide the former's death until his daughter, Queen Consort Cho, produces a son, who would have a more legitimate claim to the throne than Crown Prince Li Chang, whose mother was a concubine. As a result, the king is inoculated with the resurrection plant and subsequently becomes a zombie at night, restrained with chains and fed with the bodies of court servants. Refused permission to visit his father, the prince leaves in disguise to search for Li Seung Hui, the doctor who last treated the king. Shocked by what he finds in the process of investigating the king's illness, he heads to the Jiyong Sane with his loyal bodyguard Mu Yong to search for more answers. At Li Seung Hui's clinic outside Dongni, physician's assistant Seo Bai cares for dozens of patients, but is running out of food to feed them. Yong Xin, one of the patients, makes a stew for the people from what he says is deer meat. However, the meat is later revealed to be from the cadaver of Seung Hui's assistant, who was bitten by the king, and all the patients quickly turn into zombies. The next day, the magistrate of Dongni and nephew of Lord Cho Hakju, Cho Biem Pal, disregards Seo Bai and Yong Shin's advice to cut off the head of each cadaver, leading to a night of terror when the dead awaken. When the prince takes control and orders that the bodies of the undead be destroyed, the Yang Ban secretly flee on the only boat, carrying their belongings and the corpse of a precious son. Soldiers of the royal guard from Hanyang confront the prince, resulting in the slaughter of dozens of civilians he was trying to help, as well as the death of Lord Cho's son, who was infected. Subsequently, the prince goes to Sangju to seek help from Lord Ahn Hyeon, his mentor. The prince then discovers that the Yang Ban's boat was beached after the precious son reanimated, leading to the deaths of those on board. Awakened from his retreat by his own alarm network, Lord Ahn Hyeon arrives with troops who know how to deal with the zombie crisis. In Hanyang, Queen Cho takes the regency of the vacant throne, decreeing the quarantine of Jiyong Sane, while Lord Cho Hakju comes to the quarantine gate with the army and the zombie king. On the other side, Lord Ahn Hyeon and the prince fortify Sangju against the zombies while Seo Bai and Cho Biem Pal explore the frozen valley, learning the origins of the zombie disease. 
Season 2. In Hanyang, the queen has gathered many pregnant women at Naseonji, her private residence. Mu Yang's wife is there as well, taken as a hostage, to force Mu Yang to spy on the prince. The pregnant women are killed when their delivery is not as expected. As a result, the special forces commander becomes suspicious and searches Naseonji. He finds the corpses of seven delivered women. The baby girls were strangled, but the baby boys were only stillborn. At Sangju, it is discovered that the zombies are slowed not by sunlight, but by temperature. Since the weather gets colder, the situation becomes worse after another night of chaos. The prince decides to break into the border fortress with a limited squad. They are successful, but fall into a trap. Lord Ahn Hyeon is shot to death, while the prince, who is put in the presence of the zombie king, decapitates the latter. As Lord Cho turns back to Hanyang and prepares to dispose of the prince, Ahn Hyeon appears as a resurrected zombie. Wearing his commanding flag, he bites Lord Cho before being killed himself, proving the existence of zombies and the good faith of the prince. The blockading army allies with the prince. The next day, an unconscious Lord Cho is taken by Mu Yong, Seo Bai, and Cho Biam Pal to Hanyang, but along the way Mu Yong is killed. At Lord Cho's residence, Seo Bai discovers that a full immersion in water forces away the worm like entities causing the zombification. At the same time, the queen pretends to give birth, presenting Mu Yong's wife's newborn as her own. She poisons her recovered father who discovered the lie, and is revealed to be organizing a zombie research lab beneath her palace. While the queen prepares a large proscription, the royal guards are lured out of the palace, allowing the crown prince to conquer the place. But the queen practices a scorched earth policy and orders the release of the zombies from the research lab leading to a bloodbath that overwhelms the queen and everyone inside the palace, which is immediately locked down. The last few survivors escape to the rear garden and break the ice of the pond. The zombies are stopped by the water, while the bitten but not yet transformed people are saved from being zombified. The prince finds Mu Yong's bitten son being protected by Seo Bai, who shows him that the child is not infected. He then decides to relinquish his claim to the throne, fake his death and hide the true extent of the outbreak to prevent further political instability. Seven years later, the baby is crowned king as a worm is shown moving inside him, while Seo Bai, Yongshin and the former crown prince investigate the northern provinces for sightings of the resurrection plant. Shortly after they arrive at a seemingly empty village, a woman named Ashin appears inside a barn, standing next to some undead kept inside wooden boxes.